everybody. Welcome to Didi and Boris in the Mythical Forest and in the Mythical Kitchen, I guess. Yeah? So, um, you know I love watermelon. And if I run out of watermelon in the summer, I get panicky. Almost the same as milk. I love milk and watermelon. And so, I, it's uh, 84 degrees in the house. And I'm burning up, and I'm still going to try to see if we can get a good watermelon. I think this is the fifth watermelon for the summer. No, the sixth watermelon for the summer. And literally, me and Boris ate two watermelons in two days just now. So, this one says Sugar Daddy on it. <laughs> a watermelon is called Sugar Daddy. Look. <laughs> okay, let's see if it's sweet. Man, it's hot. Let me see. I'm going to cut it out of the middle. Check it out. Mm -hmm. It's not that sweet. Another disappointment. Well, the chickens get the ends. Anyway. Mm -hmm seedless watermelon the last time I got a seeded one it wasn't sweet and the seedless one was sweet so I don't know I'm so disappointed one of these years I'm gonna have a sweet watermelon I'm trying to grow them myself this year but they're not doing they don't have a single watermelon on them so and I bet you once I get the watermelon on there then we'll get a raccoon's gonna come and get it because I had those melons growing they were like honeydew melons or something. They were growing and, um, let's see. Mm -mm. Oh man, makes you want to put sugar on it. Mm. So, some kind of raccoon came, squirrel or raccoon or something, took that melon, two or three of them I have. And they were big. They were about this big. So it had to be something. I, I, I think a squirrel. It was too, too, uh, too big for a squirrel to grab and take like that. So anyway, another watermelon bust, a disappointment. I literally am thinking about going on the internet and seeing if there's like some sugar meter that you can get, take to the store with you, to check out and see if that thing's going to be sweet. Y'all let me know if there's such a thing. I'm going to Google it after I get off of here. Anyway, hope y'all having a good day. Just wanted to do another watermelon test with you guys. And I'm going to keep doing this all summer. I'm going to video with y'all until I find a sweet watermelon. That freeze-dried watermelon, freeze-dried, tasted sweeter with the, with the water evaporated out of it. So that was a plus. So... Anyway, maybe I should go to Alabama. Maybe they got, the, in California, maybe they don't have good watermelons. I don't know. I think these come from Mexico. I don't know what's happening. Something is happening. Because when I was a kid, these watermelons were nothing but pure sugar sweet. And this thing's called Sugar Daddy, and it ain't a bit of Sugar Daddy in it. Disappointed. Man, disappointed. I might cut up two watermelons because this is probably just going to be enough for three days if that because it's so hot that's why we're just sitting around at night we have to sit outside it's too hot to sit in the house literally 84 degrees i'm looking at that that temperature gauge on my on my kitchen uh refrigerator and it was 85 in here 86 earlier so it's dropped down to 84 at 7 20 at night so it's hot there's no air conditioning here so y'all know that so, okay, I'll see you next time I do a watermelon. Thanks for watching, you guys. Watermelon that's going to the chickens after we cut it. We don't let anything go to waste. Come on, girls. Come hit it, girls. Get a, come and get it, girls. Come and get it, girls. Jumpy. Right as she jumpsters. Right as she jumpsters. <laughs> Jumpy. 
She loves. She likes to eat out of your hand. She loves that. Why are you but so she's spoiled? Been, we've been doing this since she was in she's the egg. She's our baby. She was, she's she our was baby. in the egg. She's she been hearing our voices. Yeah. Uh, she sounds like she just said, Wah, huh? Wah. Yeah. Let her, let her. We're still not sure if she's a boy or a go. girl. You guys, I'm going to give the rest of the worms. 